Anybody really know something about God's grace? Oh, good night. 
the door he will do to you on a test of that. If you know he will do to the right time to your life. Oh my God, my God. 
It's just something about your grace. You tell me when I felt like giving up. You tell me when I felt like going in the town.
But I just didn't come for a workshop. I told them last night, but I came to get something from the Lord. And I want to let you know it's your own fault if you don't get it tonight. Somebody in the hip, I said it's your own fault if you don't get it tonight. Tonight we got a living legend beside me tonight. He's going to come and bless you at this time. Here we go now down here.
Thank you. 
praying and say she hears something. Say she go in there and pick her up. So she decided, said this girl wants to live. So she decided to go to my grandmother. Nanny Sam. She asked my grandmother, she says, if I do your work, back in, you know, that's back in the day when they had fields and crops. She asked my grandmother, she said, if I glory, if I go do your work for you. Would you take care of my baby and heal my baby? Because back in the day, those old people had healing methods. She said, would you take care of my baby? My mama did her work. Now, mind you, she had other children. My mama did her work, and she did my grandmother's work so that my grandmother could take care of both of them. And today, with the help of the Church of God in Christ Church, my mama said she took her there and she got strong enough and let the preachers pray over, pray over her. And said when she prayed over, she got some more strength and she just got up and ate a piece of candy, a supper or something. And my mama knew she was going to be all right. Mama knew she was going to be all right. Now, Barbara didn't attend school. That, that wasn't the end of it. Y'all, a lot of the corn cart people know that Barbara didn't attend school until she was way up in age. Because of her one lung, she could not. But my mother taught her at home, and that's when she learned to play the piano. When she was sick, she would be at home by herself, and she had nothing to do. And my dad had an old piece of piano there. She was two or three years old, and my dad said he'd go to work, and she'd be there by herself. And say, so any time he'd come in, and she'd be on that old piano. Boop, 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 boop. He said, hmm. Couple more days, he'd come in, and say she'd be going boom, dee, boom, dee, boom. He said, hmm. A few more days, she'd be boom, then she hit them cars, boom, boom. And so he said, I need to get my baby a piano. He got her a piano. That's where she started from. God taught. She knows a note. She does not know a note nowhere. And then she got the rest of her training from Concord from Miss Starlin. How many of us know Miss Starlin? She got the rest of her training from Miss Starlin. And that's it. I'm, we're going to let y'all go home. And we had a good time tonight. Yeah. We're going to do this again. Brother Quentin, we're going to bring you back again. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sister McAllison said, Sister McAllison said today, do we have to end the quiz? I said, no. She said, why don't we just make, get us a name and we just go around and sing? I said, well, that's fine with me. So she didn't want Sister McAllison. Break your hand, Sister McAllison. She didn't want to be in. And so we we looking for Judas Thompson. So just look look for some news in the wind, okay? All right, we're gonna give Brother Quentin her remarks and then we're gonna turn it into the hands of our pastor. Yeah. Yeah. God be the glory yeah. for all the great yeah. things yeah. he has done. Yeah. I tell y'all my soul is happy tonight. Yeah. I, it's a blessing to come back home. Yeah. Yeah. I said it's a blessing to come back home. There's a lot of people leaving, they'll never return back home. Yeah. So I'm grateful to be home. Yeah. Especially through the storm that we have been yeah. in. Amen. Yeah. Thank God I told um, somebody on last night, I believe it was you, I said, you know, this is one of those times I was excited about coming home. Amen. Yeah. To get away from all that water. Amen. <laughs> I give God the praise tonight for all the things he has done. I thank God for my mother and my father. Amen. I love them dearly. And um, all of my family, my cousin. It's a blessing to see Brother Jerome in the house tonight. Woo! Woo! Now that's another living testimony of what God can do. He's still in the healing business. Yeah. Never give up on God. Amen. Somebody know him to be a miracle worker. Yes, God. And to this wonderful choir tonight. Amen. Awesome job. Amen. Awesome job. I tell you, we had church on last night. Amen. We came back and had church this morning. Amen. And I told him nobody else got a reason to praise God tonight. We're going to praise them all by ourselves. Amen. And choirs that work with me know I always tell them to bring what? Bring your own fire. That's right. Bring your own praise. We don't wait on nobody to shout us and make us happy. Amen. Because the scripture said, enter his gates with thanksgiving. 
enter his courts with praise. Right. But it didn't stop that. He said, be thankful unto him and bless his name. And certainly, we are blessed this day. Yes. Amen. Pastor Stark, thank you. Amen. I had shared the um, post, the flyer on Facebook. I was telling them earlier. I said, I had shared your flyer, and it's a lady in Dallas by the name of Sister Joyce. She's been playing my music on her radio station there in Dallas. And I said, she told me that you her brother. He said, yes, that's my sister. It's a small world. Yeah. You never know who you may be singing before. Right. You never know who you may have a connection with. Amen. So I give God the praise. Amen. And I want to thank Pastor Starks personally. Because last year in August, um, he eulogized my aunt. At Moss Temple, and we, the family, we certainly appreciate all that you've done for us. He stepped in, he came and checked on my aunt, and he was there through the whole process that we went through. Amen. And we forever grateful for you all. You all have an awesome pastor. Amen. Amen. You all have an awesome pastor. Thank you all once again. God bless you. Do you have CDs for sale for the Queen? Yeah. I do. I have my single with me for only $5 tonight. You can take it home with you. Also, I have a brand new CD that I'm excited about. Right. It's coming out in two weeks, so y'all be able to look at some good church music that's going to be on this project. Amen. 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 Tonight has been an awesome night. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can y'all hear me without this? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to use it anyway. Yeah. All right. uh, let me thank you for being here tonight. Let me thank you for sharing in this awesome experience. I pray tonight as you go home that you'll take the spirit and take the name of Jesus with you. Yeah. Get up in the morning. And go to somebody's church. Amen. 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 Let me thank my church family for being here. Amen. There are young children that are here who are part of the choir, who are in the audience. Let me ask all of our ministers if you would stand Amen. here. Amen. 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 Thank you for coming and being a part of this service, this outstanding service. Let me take this time also. I got to drive 62 miles uh -huh. back home. But I know there is a young lady that if I don't introduce her, that 62 miles is going to be hard for me to go home. So let me present to you the first lady. Amen. Now, now I can go home. <laughs> Thank you. May God bless you. May He keep you with our prayer as we stand. Let's just look at each other for a minute. The scripture reminds us in Numbers. It says, May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and to give you peace. Let it be done. In your rising, in your falling, in your leisure, in your labor, in your joy, in your sorrow, in your laughter, and in your tears till one day we shall all stand before you. And on that glorious day, there will be no sunrise. Our sunset. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you tonight. You can take us home.